Welcome back to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Join us on an exciting exploration as we unveil the transformations of 30 iconic beauties of the past you'd never recognize today. They were once the iconic beauties of Hollywood's golden era, and now let's see how time has shaped them. Join us on this journey to meet your favorite stars. Before we begin, make sure you've subscribed and hit the notification bell to always stay updated on the glamorous lives of these celebrities. Let's get started. Number 30. Anne Gillian was born on January 29, 1950, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. She is best known for her role as Cassie Cranston in the popular TV series, It's a Living, which aired from 1980 to 1982. With her beautiful face, shiny blonde hair, round eyes, and radiant smile, Anne Gillian was one of the most captivating actresses of the 1980s. Over the years, Anne Gillian has undergone physical transformations, embracing the natural aging process. Despite the changes, she continues to receive love from the audience after decades in the industry. With over 50 years dedicated to the arts, Anne Gillian has left a beautiful mark on the public with a series of impressive roles. Her contribution to the film industry goes beyond outstanding acting and has positively influenced perceptions of beauty and age in the entertainment industry. Number 29. Sally Struthers was born on July 28, 1947, in Portland, Oregon. She is best known for her role as Gloria Stivic in the popular sitcom All in the Family, from 1971 to 1978. With her cute appearance and sweet voice, Sally Struthers created a memorable Gloria Stivic on the small screen. After more than 40 years, Sally Struthers' appearance has undergone significant changes. Shorter and grayer hair, a face with wrinkles, and a fuller body. Nevertheless, Sally still maintains her cheerful smile and lovable charm. Audiences have witnessed her transition from a young star to an experienced actress, and this transformation is appreciated and respected by fans, demonstrating Sally Struthers' maturity and stability in her career. With a long-lasting career, Sally Struthers has established herself as an icon of American comedy actresses from the 1970s. Number 28. Catherine Bach was born on March 1, 1954, in Warren, Ohio. She is best known for her seductive role as Daisy Duke in the classic TV series, The Dukes of Hazard, from 1979 to 1985. At the peak of her career, Catherine Bach impressed audiences with her allure and bold fashion sense. Particularly, the iconic Daisy Dukes shorts emphasized her long legs and added to the character's sensuality. After many years, Catherine still retains her cheerful smile and gentle alert, despite natural changes over time. Audiences still adore her after all these years. With the enduring image of Daisy Duke, Catherine Bach has gone down in history as a timeless small screen icon. Number 27. Martine Beswick was born on September 26, 1941, in Port Antonio, Jamaica. She is known for her roles in James Bond films such as From Russia with Love and Thunderball. With her captivating beauty and hot physique, Martine Beswick was once hailed as the sexiest Bond girl on screen. Additionally, she was remembered for her sharp eyes and distinctive facial features. Now, at the age of 82, her appearance has changed significantly. Her once black, flowing hair is now cut short, her skin has aged, and wrinkles have appeared on her face. However, her enchanting eyes and charming smile remain Martine's identifying features. She continues to be loved by the audience after more than half a century in the film industry. With her special contributions, Martine Beswick has enriched and diversified various film genres.
Number 26. Nancy Olsen is best known for her role as Betty Schaefer in the classic film, Sunset Boulevard, directed by Billy Wilder in 1950. With her elegant beauty, shining blonde hair, and smiling eyes, Nancy Olsen was one of the most beloved Hollywood actresses of the 1950s. After many years, Nancy Olsen still maintains a graceful and charming appearance, showcasing maturity and grace with age. She continues to receive the love of the public after over 70 years of dedication to the arts. With the timeless role of Betty Schaefer, Nancy Olsen deserves to be an eternal icon of the golden age of Hollywood. Despite the changes in appearance due to aging, her acting talent is still admired by the audience. Number 25. Ursula Andrus was born on March 19, 1936, in Ostermundigen, Switzerland. She is best known for her role as Bond girl Honey Ryder in the first James Bond film, Dr. No, released in 1962. This role marked not only her fame but also created a classic image in the James Bond universe with her famous beach scene in a bikini. At the peak of her career, she possessed a hot body and a daring fashion style, making her an icon of alert. Now, at the age of 87, her appearance has changed significantly due to cosmetic interventions. Audiences still show respect and affection for her after more than half a century of dedication to the arts. With the iconic image of Honey Rider, Ursula Andress remains an eternal symbol of cinematic allure worldwide. Number 24. Aaron Gray was born on January 7, 1950, in Honolulu, Hawaii. She is best known for her role as Colonel Wilma Deering in the popular science fiction TV series, Buck Rogers in the 25th Century, from 1979 to 1981. At the peak of her career, Aaron Gray was known for her attractive appearance and diverse fashion style. Her distinctive features included a refined face and bright eyes, creating the image of a strong and graceful woman. After many years, Erin Gray still maintains an elegant appearance and allure, while also demonstrating versatile acting abilities in various projects. Her career transition is highly appreciated by the audience. Erin Gray is not only an excellent actress but also a model representing independence in the entertainment industry. Her contributions have enriched the portrayal of women in the arts and introduced a powerful role model to the audience. Number 23. Linda Ronstadt was born on July 15, 1946, in Tucson, Arizona. She is widely known for her sweet voice and hits like, Blue Bayou, Your Number Good, and When Will I Be Loved. With her Wild West beauty and powerful voice, Linda Ronstadt was considered one of the most charming icons of 1970s rock music. After more than 40 years, her appearance has changed significantly. Shorter hair, more wrinkles on her face, and a fuller figure. Nevertheless, audiences still embrace and shower her with love. Despite announcing a music-related injury and being unable to sing since 2009, Linda Ronstadt's contributions are still highly appreciated by fans and the music industry. She has inspired and created a strong legacy for the generations of artists that followed. Number 22. Sybil Danning was born on May 24, 1952, in Austria. She is known for her provocative roles in action films such as Chained Heat and Reform School Girls. At the height of her career, Sybil Danning was recognized for her powerful image and seductive fashion style. With her alluring appearance, shiny blonde hair, piercing blue eyes, and hot physique, Sybil Danning was once considered a sex symbol of the 1980s cinema. Now, at the age of 76, her appearance has changed significantly. Short white hair, wrinkled skin, and a more mature figure. 
However, she still maintains a bold fashion style and confident demeanor. The public continues to love her for her talent and contributions to the arts. With her classic roles, Sybil Danning has made a profound impact in the world of cinema. Number 21. Crystal Gale was born on January 9, 1951, in Paintsville, Kentucky. She is famous for her long, flowing black hair that cascades down to her waist and her sweet voice in songs like, Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue, and Talking In Your Sleep. With her seductive beauty and soaring voice, Crystal Gale was considered one of the most alluring figures in country music in the 1970s and 80s. After many years, Crystal Gale's name still shines brightly in the country music scene. She has not only maintained success but also diversified her musical style, experimenting with various genres. Crystal Gale is seen as one of the prominent female icons in the history of country music and continues to captivate fans worldwide. Number 20. Nancy Sinatra was born on June 8, 1940, in Jersey City, New Jersey. She is famous for hit songs like, These Boots Are Made For Walkin' and Something Stupid. At the height of her career, Nancy Sinatra was known for her seductive appearance and unique fashion style. Characterized by her warm voice and the ability to perform various music genres. Now, at the age of 83, her appearance has changed significantly. Short and silver hair, wrinkled skin due to aging. However, her eyes and charming smile remain Nancy Sinatra's distinguishing features. After many years, she still maintains her popularity and influence in the music industry. To this day, she is considered a timeless pop music icon. Number 19. Susan Sullivan is best known for her role as Maggie Gioberti in the popular TV series, Falcon Crest, from 1981 to 1990. With her graceful beauty, shiny blonde hair, and smiling eyes, Susan Sullivan was one of the most beloved actresses on the small screen in the 1980s. Now, at the age of 81, her beauty has faded compared to the golden years, but she still exudes an elegant charm. Her career has remained stable and more mature. Thanks to this, Susan continues to be loved by the audience after decades. She deserves to be an icon of 1980s television and remains a symbol of timeless beauty. Number 18. Carol Baker was born on May 28, 1931, in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. She is known for her provocative roles in classic films such as Baby Doll, Giant, and The Carpetbaggers. With her seductive beauty, dreamy eyes, and hot physique, Carol Baker was considered a sexy icon of 1950s cinema. Now, at the age of 92, her appearance has completely changed due to the influence of aging. Nevertheless, her captivating eyes remain her distinctive feature. She is still admired after decades. After many years, Carol Baker is still remembered as a cinema icon and as one of the actresses who contributed to enriching the art of acting. She has demonstrated resilience and creativity in her career, continuing to inspire generations of artists. Number 17. Barbara Rush is known for her roles in classic films such as When Worlds Collide, The Young Lions, and The Young Philadelphians. 
With her beautiful looks and alluring figure, Barbara Rush was considered one of the top Hollywood actresses in the 1950s. Her most distinctive features were her elegance and charm, captivating viewers at first sight. Over the years, Barbara Rush has undergone the natural changes of time, but she still maintains a particularly captivating allure. Audiences accept these changes with support and respect. With a diverse career spanning over 70 years, Barbara Rush has made significant contributions to the film industry across various genres. Number 16. Cher, born Sherilyn Sarkeesian on May 20, 1946, in California, is famous for hit songs like Believe and If I Could Turn Back Time, as well as successful films like Moonstruck and The Witches of Eastwick. With a powerful voice, a hot appearance, and a unique fashion style, Cher was considered a timeless diva. Cher has undergone many transformations throughout her career, from a pop music artist to an actress and a talented producer. Audiences have witnessed her diversity and growth, accompanying her through each new stage in life and her career. Now, at the age of 77, despite showing signs of aging, Cher still retains her powerful voice and unique fashion sense. Cher continues to attract public attention and remains a multifaceted icon, contributing significantly to global entertainment culture. Number 15. Joan Collins was born on May 23, 1933, in London, England. She is best known for her role as Alexis Carrington in the popular TV series, Dynasty, from 1981 to 1989. At the peak of her career, Joan Collins was famous for her elegant appearance and unique fashion style. Her most distinctive features were her sharp eyes and smooth skin, creating an image of a sophisticated lady. Now, at the age of 90, her appearance has changed significantly due to the influence of age and cosmetic interventions. However, her fashion taste and star charisma remain unchanged, and she continues to be loved by the audience after decades. Number 14. Sally Kirkland is best known for her role as Anna in the film, Anna, in 1987. At the height of her career, Sally Kirkland possessed a distinctive beauty with shiny blonde hair, piercing blue eyes, and a radiant smile. She often appeared on the red carpet with a luxurious fashion style. Over the years, Kirkland's appearance has changed significantly, with a fuller face and sagging skin, but her eyes still shine, and her smile remains vibrant. The public still holds affection for the legendary star. Sally Kirkland played a crucial role in promoting the acting careers of Hollywood women in the 1980s. With her outstanding contributions to the field of acting, Sally Kirkland has enriched the film industry and received numerous nominations and prestigious awards throughout her long-lasting career. Number 13. Marcia Mason was born on April 3, 1942, in St. Louis, Missouri. She is best known for her role as Paula McFadden in the film, The Goodbye Girl, in 1977. At the height of her career, Marcia Mason had an exquisite beauty with large round eyes, a charming smile, and distinctive red-brown hair. After many years, Mason's appearance has changed significantly. Sagging skin and a less slender figure, yet she still radiates mature beauty. The audience still holds affection and love for the legendary star. Marsha Mason played a significant role in promoting the acting careers of Hollywood women in the 1970s. Her contributions have enriched the film industry, bringing her numerous prestigious awards throughout her enduring career.
Number 12. Juliet Mills was born on November 21, 1941, in London, England. She is best known for her role as Phoebe Figalilli in the television series, Nanny and the Professor. At the height of her career, Juliet Mills had a refined beauty with captivating blue eyes, a radiant smile, and shiny blonde hair. She often appeared on the red carpet with a graceful, elegant fashion style. Over the years, Mills's appearance has changed somewhat, wrinkles on her face, but she still exudes mature and alluring beauty. The public still loves the talented star. With her contributions to the art of acting, Juliet Mills has enriched both international film and television. Her talent and enthusiasm have highlighted her name in the entertainment industry. Number 11. Sarah Miles was born on December 31, 1941, in Ingatestone, Essex, England. She is best known for her role as Vera Rostova in the film, Ryan's Daughter, in 1970. At the height of her career, Sarah Miles possessed a strong, charismatic beauty with deep eyes, a sophisticated smile, and smooth blonde hair. Sarah Miles has undergone the changes of time, but her elegance and charm remain intact. Acceptance and respect from the audience attest to the actress's uniqueness and allure throughout various stages of her career. Sarah Miles played a crucial role in affirming the position of women in 1970s cinema. Number 10. Senta Berger was born on May 13, 1941, in Vienna, Austria. She is best known for her role as Eva in the film, When Women Had Tales, in 1970. At the height of her career, Senta Berger possessed a classical beauty with blue eyes, smooth white skin, and shiny blonde hair. She often appeared on the red carpet with an elegant, sophisticated style. Over the years, Berger's appearance has changed somewhat, wrinkles on her face, a leaner body, but she still exudes mature and alluring beauty. With her contributions to the art of acting, Senta Berger has enriched the film industry, receiving numerous awards and nominations for her diverse career. Her talent and dedication have made her stand out in the international entertainment industry. Number 9. Candace Bergen was born on May 9, 1946, in Beverly Hills. She is best known for her role as Dr. Murphy Brown in the television series of the same name. At the peak of her career, Candace Bergen had a distinctive beauty with a bright smile, blonde hair, and a refined fashion style. After many years, Bergen's appearance has changed somewhat, wrinkles on her face, a more robust body, but she still radiates intelligent, mature beauty. The audience still loves and holds a special place for her. Acceptance and respect from the audience attest to the actress's talent in every stage of her career. Candace Bergen pioneered for female comedic actresses on television, leaving a mark with her successful series and extensive acting career. Number 8. Rita Moreno was born on December 11, 1931, in Umacao, Puerto Rico. She is best known for her role as Anita in the classic musical film, West Side Story, in 1961. In, West Side Story, Rita Moreno made a strong impression with her radiant beauty, graceful face, large round sparkling eyes, and a slender figure that completely captivated the audience in the iconic role of Anita. Now, at the age of 92, Rita Moreno continues to act. Her appearance has changed significantly compared to her peak period, more wrinkles on her face, and her hair has turned white. However, her eyes still shine, her smile remains radiant, and her grace and optimistic spirit continue to highlight her style. 
the audience still holds deep affection for the legendary star. With a career spanning over 70 years, Rita Moreno is a significant icon of Hollywood cinema. She conquered both Broadway and the silver screen, being one of the few artists to achieve the Grand Slam of Oscar, Grammy, Emmy, and Tony Awards. Rita Moreno's contribution to the world of cinema is truly immense. Number 7. Veronica Lake was born on November 14, 1922, in Brooklyn, New York. She is best known for her roles in 1940s films such as Sullivan's Travels and This Gun for Hire. During the peak of her career, Veronica Lake was famous for her iconic peak at boo blonde waves covering one eye, creating a mysterious and alluring style. After her golden years, Veronica Lake gradually faded into obscurity. She passed away in 1973 due to health and financial issues. Her appearance had changed significantly with age. However, her beautiful and enchanting image still left a deep impression on cinema lovers. With her unique appearance and natural acting ability, Veronica Lake was an important female star with significant contributions to the development of Hollywood's golden age in the 1940s. Number 6. Nastasia Kinski was born on January 24, 1961, in Berlin, Germany. She is best known for her role in the film, Paris, Texas, in 1984. In the 1980s, Nastasia Kinski was famous for her alluring beauty, with shiny blonde hair. Her large, captivating eyes and sensual lips were characteristic features of her beauty. Now, at the age of 63, Nastasia Kinski is still dedicated to acting. Though her beauty has changed due to age, her deep gaze and expressive acting skills are still evident. She continues to receive the love of fans. As a former symbol of sensuality in world cinema, Nastasia Kinski has left a deep imprint on the hearts of the audience. She contributed to the allure of European art films during that period. Number 5. Heather Locklear is known for her television roles as Sammy Joe Carrington in Dynasty and Amanda Woodward in Melrose Place. In the 1980s, Heather Locklear was famous for her enchanting beauty with shiny blonde hair, blue eyes, and a radiant smile. Her beauty exuded irresistible charm. Heather Locklear has had a long and diverse career, transitioning from television actress to film actress and even a model. After the peak of her career, Heather faced various challenges in her personal life, including marital issues, health problems, and addiction. Nevertheless, she still receives the love of the audience as a golden star on the small screen. Number 4. Rebecca de Mornay was born on August 29, 1959, in Santa Rosa, California. She is best known for her role in the film, Risky Business, in 1983. In the 1980s, Rebecca de Mornay was famous for her seductive and enchanting beauty. Shiny blonde hair, luscious red lips, and vibrant green eyes were highlights of her attractiveness. Now, at the age of 65, Rebecca de Mornay continues to pursue acting and takes on some supporting roles. Although her beauty is not as radiant as before, she still emanates a distinctive elegance and charm. As a symbol of allure for Generation X, Rebecca de Mornay left a lasting mark on the hearts of 80s cinema lovers. She contributed significantly to the appeal of American mystery and action films during that era. Number 3. Daryl Hannah was born on December 3, 1960, in Chicago, Illinois. 
She is best known for her role in the film, Blade Runner, in 1982. In the 1980s, Daryl Hannah made a strong impression with her individualistic and powerful presence. Her long, flowing, shiny blonde hair and bright blue eyes were distinctive features of her beauty. Today, at the age of 63, even though her beauty has changed with age, she still exudes a unique charm with a youthful style. Besides acting, Daryl Hannah is known for her contributions to environmental activities. Daryl Hannah has had a long and diverse career, and despite some ups and downs, she is highly regarded for her passion and commitment, both in acting and environmental work. Her name has become an icon of versatility and personal values in the film industry. Number 2. Sigourney Weaver was born on October 8, 1949, in New York. She is best known for her role as Ellen Ripley in the Alien film series. In the 1980s, Sigourney Weaver made a strong impression with her powerful and assertive presence. Impressive height along with her sharp blue eyes were highlights of her beauty. Now, at the age of 74, Sigourney Weaver continues her successful acting career. Though her beauty has changed significantly, her intellectual beauty and confidence remain strong points in her style. She is still loved as an image of a strong woman. As a feminist icon of cinema, Sigourney Weaver has left a deep mark on the hearts of moviegoers. She played a crucial role in the success of the science fiction genre. Number 1. Jennifer Jason Lee was born on February 5, 1962, in Hollywood. She is known for her roles in independent films such as Last Exit to Brooklyn and Single White Female. In the 1980s, Jennifer Jason Lee was famous for her charming, captivating beauty and mesmerizing acting style. Brown hair and blue eyes were highlights of her beauty. Today, at the age of 61, Jennifer Jason Lee continues to pursue acting with supporting roles. Though her beauty is not as radiant as before, she still exudes a sense of sophistication and the confident style of a film star. Besides acting, Jennifer Jason Lee is also a producer and director, proving her diversity and creativity not only in acting but also in film production. Her name is one of the significant icons in the film industry. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through the transformations of these famous personalities. If you were surprised by the changes these individuals have undergone, don't forget to like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the Hollywood Inside 1960s channel to stay updated on more intriguing stories. Keep following to discover more secrets and we'll see you soon on Hollywood Inside 1960s.